Hey, it's Steve from the Cryptozoology Museum. We're out here at Medoc Mountain. You can see I got a whole group behind me. Frank Clint. Clint's over here, his wife. We found another area where there's a whole bunch of broken trees. And this one here is kind of odd. It's a broken tree and it's got a flower wedged in the top. It's just like the original area you found. This looks a little fresher. Now we haven't been out here for a little while. You see them all back up in here? Once again, it's just here, there's the trail. Nothing on that side of the trail. Everything's on this side. Now in here too are a whole bunch of dead trees. Now these broken ones for the most part aren't, but there are dead trees in here that are fine. The canopy, look at the canopy. It's intact. Once again, not looking like wind shear, microburst. Here's a dead tree right here. But all these other trees broken in here, that tree, skinny little tree dead, fine. Wind would have done it, would have taken that out. We keep on finding, this is the fourth area on this trail where we found this sort of breakage. Now this is going over months. So we come back through here. Now we've got a group of six we're going through with today. And uh, we're just kind of like scouting things out and we're coming across some pretty good stuff so far. And we're not even halfway through our trip on this trail alone. But it's almost like on top of everything else with the broken branches to find a flower wedge in there is kind of odd. I'll show you some of the breaks over here. And once again, they're around five foot. Are they broken all the way back there too? They stop there? So it's the same thing. It's like this little peninsula then. This is very much like the first place we had with the trail bends like this. And all these trees are broken. And as soon as you go across the trail, nothing. I'm going to head back onto the trail just to show you. Let me show you this flower again. How weird is that? Up on top of a break. I'm going to show you the trail back here. And my main trying to avoid stepping on poison ivy here. So this is the trail we're on. We're in Summit Loop. Probably about the halfway point at this point. And this is that peninsula I was telling you about where all these trees are broken. And you look across here. And it's just your normal dead rotted trees. Not like anything broken. Go right across the trail and all these trees are broken. So we've got a bunch of folks out there now looking for prints or anything else, some evidence. I'm going to go down the trail a little bit here, see what else we can find. Uh, we've been doing tree knocks as we go along. So far we've gotten one response back behind us across the river which would probably be on Bluff Loop area. Once again, of course, we can't say for sure. It's not someone just knocking a response, but I'll show you the area here. And you can see we got a pretty good size crew here today, so we're, we're spread all over. And when you got a crew this size, it's a little harder to be stealth mode, people going through and stepping on stuff and conversations going. We have some folks coming along today who've never been out with us before. And just uh, one gentleman's actually out of Florida, came out just to Bigfoot. So uh, he's loving it. He wasn't expecting to have so much activity and to find so much strange stuff here. But uh, now we're starting to go, well, you can see up here, we're gonna be going back uphill. So I'm curious to see what we find in this part. You okay? All right. 
All right, we just want to log in, just let you guys know what's going on. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, we'll keep on bringing you stuff as best we can. Uh, we're doing our best, as you can see, the social distances are out here. We're being good. Uh, I was like, up this hill, I'll be a fat guy huffing and puffing. And actually, I'm not going to log off yet. I see more broken trees. There's a whole bunch of broken trees up here, too. So another area. Once again, it's just on one side of the trail, the same side. I don't know how to explain this. I really don't. There's probably a 20 degree angle going up here. I just want to get up a little bit. Put my walking stick out of the way. Here. There's some monster trees broken here. But all the way back up there. Once again, this side of the trail, nothing. Crickets. This side, everything's broken. Put my stick, we'll continue up. See what else we can find. I'll leave it everyone else in the lurks there. There's quite a few here. It's got to be another 50, 60 broken trees here, easy. Now you get a lot of people up there, they, they, they'll post a tree, a weird break. Well, here we're talking vast numbers. Like I said, it's not wind shear, it's not microburst. The ground cover is okay. You go right across the trail and everything's intact. Just, it's like a marking. Something's telling you, this is my area, stay out. I'm curious what's up here. I've seen some more breaks, but it seems to pretty much stop here. But no, more over here. I'll try to show you without walking in there. Can you see all up in there? I mean, right in front of us, there's got to be six broken trees right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, this is just right in this immediate area, going no more than 40 feet in. More up over here. Sorry for not being steady, I'm tripping over rocks. Maybe we can get a little downhill now. You can see there's the gang coming up. All right, we're going to continue going up here, see what else we can find, but so this is a Wednesday. We're up here. Uh, we started roughly 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm guessing now it's probably 2.45, almost 3. We've been taking our time, making stops, looking for prints, going along the shore, uh, pacing ourselves. We're going to need it after going up this hill, but uh, even here. More breaks. Jeez. And once again, nothing behind me. Only over here. And here, just your natural couple of down trees from not things snapped at three to eight feet tall. All right. We're going to continue hiking along, see what else we can find. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We'll keep on bringing you more and more videos, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks.